Hal is on vacation. <laughs> Big news in the search for life in outer space. Today, NASA announced the discovery of seven new planets. Fox 7's Rand Christensen spoke with a local astronomer who says this discovery means life beyond Earth could be possible. She joins us now in the studio with a fascinating story. Rayanne. Mike and Rebecca, based on where those planets are to the star they are orbiting around, scientists say water, oxygen, and even life are possible on three of the Earth-sized planets. Get your phones out. We want to know what you think in tonight's Fox 7 Your Opinion Counts tax poll. Do you believe there's intelligent life on these new planets? If you do, text YES to 81419. If you do not think there's intelligent life out there, text NO to 81419. Message and data rates may apply. Voters will get one text message confirming their vote. We'll have your results right after the story. It's one of the greatest questions in history. Are we alone? And that answer could be no. NASA, along with the Belgian research team, say they've made a discovery of seven new planets. Torvald Hessel is the executive director and founder of the Texas Museum of Science and Technology in Cedar Park, but he's an astronomer by trade. He says we are discovering planets so fast now, but this discovery is one no one expected. We have discovered several Earth-sized planets outside of our solar system. Um, I think that we're one or two systems that may have had more than one Earth-sized planet. But to have then a system with seven of them, <laughs> that's insane. You scratch your head from, wow, what else is out there? The planets are all in a cluster some 40 light years away, which means none of us will be visiting. The chance of us traveling there, yeah, it's not going to happen. Certainly not in our lifetimes, no. But scientists say water and even life is possible on the three Earth-sized planets. These planets need to be at the perfect spot, at the perfect distance from these stars in order to have liquid water and an uh, atmosphere. And when it, there is liquid water and there is an atmosphere, it doesn't mean there is life, but there is a possibility of life. All seven planets are orbiting around a star in the constellation Aquarius. The star itself is a dwarf star roughly the size of planet Jupiter, known as TRAPPIST-1. TRAPPIST-1 is much cooler, much smaller than our sun, and so the planets it's in its habitable zone are much closer to it, very close to it, with very short orbital periods. The Spitzer Space Telescope, along with multiple telescopes on the ground, made the remarkable find. For one of them, our measurement is precise enough to strongly suggest a water-rich composition, which is very exciting because this is one of the planets in the habitable zone. Now the focus is to find out if one of these planets are holding the holy grail of atmosphere, oxygen. We are a step, a large step closer to finding hopefully life somewhere else in this beautiful universe. Hessel says the next big step in observing this system will be in October of 2018. That's when the James Webb Telescope will be launched, which is a bigger, better version of Hubble. It should be able to measure and see what's in the atmosphere. And it is time for the results of tonight's tax poll. Earlier we asked you if you think that there's intelligent life on these newly discovered planets. And here's what you had to say. 69% of you say yes, there is intelligent life out there, while 31% of you do not believe there is intelligent life. We'd like to thank everyone who took the time to vote tonight.